Hello everybody, my name is Dean. Welcome to Books and Quirks. Today I'm just going to update you on how I'm doing with the Summer Romance Book Bingo. So I will put a picture of my card and I will insert the little chips um, as I go along just to tell you how I've been doing. So, so far as of today, which is Friday when I'm filming, I have completed nine of the book challenges. So nine squares on my bingo card are filled out. And by the end of next week, I should have a couple more filled out. So let me just tell you how I've been doing. So the first challenge I completed was to, was to read a romance with a cat or or with a cat or dog on the cover. So I'm just looking at the card just to make sure I'm uh, going through them uh, in order. So for that one, I read Ever After by Rachel Lacey. This has a cat and a dog on the cover. And it was a really cute romance about a woman who was fighting for animal rights. She gets caught spray painting a building that houses a chicken uh, slaughterhouse factory. And she gets arrested and the police officer, the detective that follows her case throughout the book, they begin to fall in love. So it's a really cute romance. It has a really good plot to go along with the romance. So I really loved this whole um, book and that completed that challenge. So the second challenge was to read a Harlequin book. And for that, I read Season of Wonder by Ray Ann Thane. And this was a NetGalley book. It is actually a Christmas romance. It comes out in September, and I will put a review up closer to that date, but it was really wonderful. It's your basic Christmas romance, if you've read a few in the past, and it was very sweet, and I just love the whole, anything Christmas and romance is like my thing. So it was absolutely wonderful, even though I read it in the summer. <laughs> The next challenge I completed was to read a Rita finalist. Rita are the romance um, book awards, the big uh, book awards for the romance genre that come out once a year. And one of the finalists, or the finalists rather that I picked, was Now That You Mention It by Kristen Higgins. This is such a good book with such a good plot. Actually, this was part of the category of a plot with a central romance. So the plot is really the main part of the story. The romance actually doesn't come in till the very end of this book. This book is about a woman who um, really everything is, is not going right in her life. She moves home, um, back home for the first time since she was like 18 and she's trying to rebuild her life. She's trying to heal from past wounds. She's also trying to heal from you know, rifts within her family, and she has to deal with a lot of, of issues, you know, both internally and externally. I really loved this book. This was everything I could have hoped for and more. It is a new book, um, you know, fairly new book, new release, and it was such a wonderful book, and I'm so glad I picked this up, you know, because I really didn't know a whole lot about it before reading it but yes this fit that challenge and I'm sorry if it's dark in here um, I have the windows open but it seems like the Sun went away because <laughs> the storm's coming so it may be a little bit dark so the next challenge I completed was to read a standalone novel and for that I read somewhere in time by Richard Matheson this is a time travel romance very sweet this is actually an older book it was written in like 1980 or something like that and I read it in high school um, because my friend had had it and I loved it immediately and it was actually it's been it was out of print for years I couldn't get a copy because it's a very old book um, and finally it went back in print so yay <laughs> but this is somewhere in time by Richard Matheson great great book 
The next challenge was to read a book with an author that uses a pseudonym. And for that, I chose a book by Sophie Kinsella. Sophie Kinsella is a pseudonym, if you didn't know, but I'm heard you've all heard of Sophie Kinsella. And this is a famous book, the first in her confession series, Confessions of a Shopaholic. I had seen the movie years and years ago. I think it was made in like the early 2000s or something like that. And I remember parts of the movie, but I had remembered parts of the movie. But yes, this was a fantastic read. Very different from what I remember of the movie. So if you didn't really like the movie, I would still give the book a try. The plot goes in a little bit of a different direction than the movie did. But the basic personality of the main character is the same. And I absolutely had a blast reading this book. The next challenge I finished is to read a book set at the beach. And for that, I read Sand Dollar Cove, um, written by Nancy Nagel. I read this as an ebook, and it is a basic book about a woman who, again, moves back to her childhood home that her grandmother owns. And, um, and it's a basic romance, but there's also another plot going of rebuilding the beach because the beach has been eroded by San by Hurricane Sandy and Hurricane Irma was it? I can't remember the other hurricane. But um and the boardwalk was basically destroyed in some parts. So her, you know, she really wants to get that going again. And that's really her reason for staying with her grandmother. She used to stay with her grandmother as a kid and absolutely has great memories of this house that's on the beach and of the entire boardwalk and everything else. The next challenge is to read a book with a one word title and for that I read Remembrance by Jude Devereaux. This is also a time travel romance. Um, this book was really interesting. You know the romance aspect didn't come in again for this book till the very end. The main plot was that there was this woman, she was about 29 or 30 in the book. She, um, all she wants to do is get married, to, to fall in love, get married. None of her relationships have really worked out. And she also likes to visit psychics and mediums and those kinds of things. And she visits a psychic who tells her that the reason she can't find love is that, you know, her one true love is out there in the world, but she won't meet him until three lifetimes from now. So it's sort of like reincarnation because of mistakes she had made in her past lives. So she finds a way to go back in time and try and fix, try to understand, first of all, her past lives and then try to fix the mistakes that were made so that hopefully in this life she can be happy. It was really interesting. I don't think I explain the plot very well, but I really enjoy this. I've read one of Jude Devereaux's books before. She's very, um, it was another time travel romance. Apparently it's her thing. And I loved it. I absolutely loved it. And I love this one as well. It was, I've had very good luck with my romances so far this summer. They've all been excellent. The next challenge I completed is to read a contemporary and I didn't double up on any challenges so I only chose one challenge for each book that I read. Um, so for this book I read Rainy Day Friends by Jill Shalvis. This is a brand new release. I had it on ebook and it was absolutely wonderful. This is about a woman who was married. Her husband passed away and at the funeral she finds out that her husband had like several other wives and families. And she was totally blindsided by this, destroyed. A lot of the other wives are kind of after her for insurance money because she was actually the legal wife. All these other wives thought they were, you know, married, but it was fake. And she moves to this ranch in her hometown to try to start over. And it goes from there. There is a big romance involved, but there's also a good plot and mystery that unfolds. So I absolutely loved this book. And I will be reading more of Jill Chavez because I think 
I'm pretty sure this was my first Jill Chavez book, but she's a big romance writer. So definitely a fan after reading this book. And the final uh, challenge I completed so far, the square I completed, was to read a book that you bought just for the cover, and that is Say You Remember Me by Katie McGarry. I just finished this a few days ago. This is a YA contemporary romance. Um, it is fantastic. I love Katie McGarry, and it definitely is a beautiful cover. And when I saw this cover, I knew I wanted it, and then the the author that I knew just solidified that purchase for me. So this is basically about the daughter of a governor um, who is essentially, you know, puts on a mask of perfection in the public. She's a big par part of her father's campaign. He's also campaigning for senator. And he has a program for delinquent juveniles. Um... It's sort of a, a restart program to help them get back on their feet, to give them a second chance, basically, at a good moral um, life without crime. And the model person for this new second chance program is Hendrix. Hendrix was arrested a year prior for a crime that he says he didn't commit and he is now given a second chance as you know he was given a deal that if you plead guilty and be the spokesperson for the second chance program you know you'll just do a few months of juvenile detention um and you won't be you know tried as an adult or or given anything. You'll be given a second chance after that. So he's the spokesperson and they begin a budding relationship and unbeknownst to anybody else because obviously he is not the person that they want for the governor's daughter. Um, and it was absolutely very sweet. I, I loved it. And that is basically my update for the summer romance book bingo. I hope you enjoyed. I plan to uh, do another wrap up probably at the end. Um, since we're at the halfway point, I thought it was good to do an update. Um, it ends on August 31st. You know, this was a summer long thing. So I'm really excited. I'm really happy with what I read so far. And I think that I have a good running for the other books that I have on my TBR because I've had good luck so far. That's all I can say. Really enjoyed everything I read. So I hope you are all having a good summer so far and not melting from the heat. I know it's hard. Um, but anyway, I hope you all have a good one and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.